Hi, today I want to monkey around and cast some copper scraps into this simple box with wet sand. More than this though, I want to mess around with copper patinas today. I haven't made or bought a proper crucible, so this steel vessel will work as a crucible for today's simple project. A big shout out to Bruce Butcher for his recent donation. Thanks. I'm adding boric acid powder as a flux. The flux creates a greenish flame in the forge. I poured too much copper, creating a belly on one side. So I quickly cut that excess off. Those holes on the back are maybe air pockets. I decide to deepen the one hole to make hanging by a nail easy. So now on to the patina part. This is warm water with some boric acid. I read this online that this should create a red patina on copper. This is pretty good, but I want to continue trying. On this go, I feel I got the piece too hot. Here I try dipping it in boric acid before quenching. Ah. 
I decide to try doubling the amount of boric acid in the water. hot again, I think. I try just quenching in my slag tub. The result is actually pretty good. Now I'm really experimenting. Instead of boric acid, I'm trying baking soda in water and see how that works. A very interesting result. The main thing I noticed with the baking soda is that it really decelerates the cooling process. I've been getting a lot of pink, purple, and orange, but no brilliant red. I decide to boil this baking soda mixture and see what comes of that. Watching the transformation is really interesting. And I try one last time with the mixture cooled off some. I hope you've enjoyed this one.